Making the Great Wheel Cannon. Here are the parts that you'll need. From the manual, you'll see these parts are the great wheel, the great wheel washer, the ratchet wheel, the great wheel cannon tube. There are three pawls and three pawl pins. You may also need some assorted hobby files to complete the task. Orient the great wheel with the spokes pointing in the direction that you want. Keep in mind that the pawl pins are installed on the back of the great wheel. You can insert the pawl pins into the pawl pin holes. If they do not fit, you can use a hobby file to widen the hole. Now flip the great wheel. From here, you will insert the cannon tube required on the great wheel assembly. Once again, it may be tight. You may want to use a file to slightly widen the hull. Next, we will do a mock-up with the ratchet wheel. You can place the ratchet wheel on a piece of one quarter inch brass or steel stock. Have it oriented as depicted here. Now, with the great wheel oriented like this, Slip the ratchet wheel assembly into place. Now slip one of the pawls into place on a pawl pin. The fit shouldn't be sloppy, but it shouldn't be tight. As you move the great wheel around, you will see that the pawl has a ratcheting action. There may be some tight areas. If you notice that there are tight areas, you can take the pawl off and slightly sand it. This will give it enough room to ratchet properly. Test all three pawls. You will want to ensure that each paw is able to ratchet properly. As you add each paw to the back of the great wheel, you may find that the paw pins are tight. This problem is easily resolved. You can use a small round hobby file. Insert the hobby file into the pawl pin hull. Twist and insert, and this will shave off small amounts of material from the inside of the hull. Test your fit on the pawl pin to ensure that the pawl is able to rotate properly. Now lay the great wheel with the pawls oriented upwards. The winding spool will act to retain the pawls when the clock is finally assembled.